Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and Administrator of Graphical Design, which is the new name for Doodle Internally PNGs. Uh, I'm going to start you off with Design and Animate a Character GIF Part 6, which is to do with animating the character. And before we start that, I need to recheck on Affinity Designer the character PSD image that we saved, right? Now there's a reason why I'm doing this, it's an important reason, so you must do this if you can. Uh, otherwise you'll end up with a possible problem. So we're going to close out the splash screen and go on to File, Open. And then we're going to look for the PSD file that we saved, right? Now there's a PSD file. Okay, so what we need to do now is, I'll show you what we need to do. What we need to do is go on to the RL image go down to the bottom part of the character R foot I want to select that and I want to select R thigh with it and what I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure this circle is in that boundary there and that boundary there right so it's in both boundaries together right so it's inside yes that's fine right you need to do that with all of the interconnecting circular pluses right that you can see right so i check that one okay i'm going to check the left foot like so that's okay my, my, my could do with going down a bit but it, it'll be all right that'll be fine right now i'm going to do both legs with the hip just to check that right I haven't put click the hip, sorry. I'm gonna make a mistake there, mistake. Okay, that's selected and as you can see that and that are interconnected between both the hip and their own leg. Right? That's fine. Now I need to do the hip with the upper arms, so I'm just gonna click on the hip first. Now the, the arms, I'm going to do that and as you can see there's a connection there and the connection there is in between the two rectangular pieces which is interconnected between the different shapes, right? That's okay, that's fine. Now the bits that we need to do after that is the hip and the head. Okay, so that that one there is in, interconnected between the two. That's fine. If it wasn't and you had to move it, then you'd have to move it and then you'd have to resave the PSD file or export it as a PSD, um, giving the same options as before, which is um, keep editability, um, selection only, and you need to select all of this first before you do the export. Right? So you need to select all then export as PSD, selection only, right, and preserve it, editability, and then save it, right. So that's okay for me, and I need to do the head and the, the arms and the hands, so let's just do that. Right, that's okay, because it's got that, the wrist one is in between, and the same on the left hand, on the left arm. Yeah, uh, I have had the situation where one of the wrist wasn't on and the hand stayed where it was and the arm was going wailing off somewhere else and it looked as if the bloke had lost his arm, lost his hand or something, you know. So it's a good idea to check it anyway. If you do check it, export it and then save the file as an IF design as well. So you've got a backup. Okay. Once you've done that, you can come out of it, and then we'll go into Cartoon Animator 4, right? Now, I've got the pipeline version, and I've got version 4.51, and on here, I can automatically click Create Character, like that, or Character Create, there, or whatever it's, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's Create Character, anyway. But, uh, I'll click on the design tutorial character PSD and it should come up. 
in a minute let's let it load and there he is right now straight away he'll come up with the bounds there's the bounds there and the, the joints of the bounds there right and you can edit the powers using the edit powers tool and then that makes you able to click on a part and then if you use that it'll just move it like this so you can move it anywhere you want you shouldn't move it though out of the body if possible um, and then you've got another tool to stretch it I think somewhere where's the stretch tool I can't find it now you've got the circular tool there. there's a the stretch tool and you stretch it you make it bigger and smaller which is you don't want to make it bigger or smaller so let's just get off that bit of a second right and then the circular one which is turn it around like that you turn it around that axis I'm going to just put it on its side like that and do the same with the other one put the other one on his side so it looks like he's just out resting his arms on his thighs bows a little bit maybe take that one down a little touch it right, like that okay make it look a bit more reasonable yeah maybe maybe put that back out, out a sec a bit more like that that's better right that was in a bit too much and this one needs to go down a bit more. there you go like that you can do that right so it looks a bit more relaxed okay right that's your edit powers now you can take that off and that's fine and that's where it'll start off right now if you have a problem like say you need to put the arms behind the body you have a layer manager here so you need to go to layer manager and you can drag these down beneath the hip layer if you wanted the the arms and the hands if you need to right so um, you can do that if you wish right um, if you do it you're best off just pulling it steady and take it down to a certain area and dragging that down the side and then pulling it down like that and then once it gets to the next part it should you should be able to do it so if it's under the part which says hip layer it'll go beneath that lot right like that right so you can do that if you wish right i'm gonna put it back up because i don't need it at the moment so i need to put it all the way back up there do it there first oh it's just taking a bit harder to do so i'll just do that and drag that back up and we take it up one more okay right now what we're going to do now is go to the backstage which is where you start doing your animation so i'll we'll click on there okay boys now if you click on the character first and then we need to click on this this is the timeline and the timeline comes up right now if you could click over here this gives you your 2d, 2D motion key editor so that means you can click on the parts that you want to move and it'll put, it'll put them up here and you can move the parts of the bounce that you need to then, right? So say you don't want to do nothing for say 10 seconds and then say 15 seconds you want to start doing something, right? So what you can do is you can move his arm out so you need to turn that across like that if you want to and then you can also add another part to it or you can straighten up your leg if you wish or something and you want it like that right and then you put that one back down so you don't want that one up you want it like that right that looks a bit weird doesn't it hang on a minute let's just to let's just try that one let's try that one and straighten that up a bit and then let's do that one back so hopefully that might be a bit better yeah it's a bit better like that right okay so you've straightened your leg you move your arm out you might move your head a little touch so you move your head a little bit possibly okay so that's your first move right but it's only one move right so there you go so we can go on to say a little bit further on then you can move your other arm off on the next move maybe bring 
we shall do in a bit but is I see you straightened up there so then you're gonna move this arm up that way more and your elbow up a little bit more okay and then you could move this knee whoops not all the way around there now uh, up and then we can drag it up a bit and do that yeah like that right and then we could push his hip back a little bit we can do that in a minute get it move the hip back a little bit and this one that way like that right okay you can see he's doing a movement and then put that foot down on 40 put that foot down now click on that one again and yeah that's it put that down straighten the leg let's just do that a bit more actually the other one. Let's straighten that leg a bit. And the knee across a bit more. Then that one down a little touch. Okay. And the arm. And up like uh, that. Right, then you can go to 50. Wave across there. And that one a little bit across. Then go to 60. That back and then across a little bit and do the same again. You can actually duplicate these, but I'm just trying to show you how to do simple animation. So we'll do it like this so you can get the angle the, the idea of what you're supposed to do and you can you know you can move his head about a bit if you wish while you're doing it a little bit in places where right, let's get that one that one okay and so on like that right so once you've done a bit of animation you need to get this red triangle as close to where the circle is there on the circle the circle is get as close to that as you can then if you go on your timeline you'll see this red marker and that needs to go on to the black marker there which is your actual play time so that's, that's a play time there and that's a play time there right so if you get it on there that means it'll only get to 19 now further right otherwise if you play it now from the beginning you'll go on to about a thousand or something like that so you'll be watching a loud or nothing so you don't want to do that all right now let's just have a look and see how that's going yeah he's moving a bit and he moves it yeah so that's the way you can get him to wave or now there's all sorts of different mechanisms there for doing that that's one way of doing your own kind of animation right now uh, let's just reset all that there is something else as well so if you say you say you didn't want to do that and you wanted to do something that's already been made by somebody else you can actually oops i forgot to do what if you click on these you can 
just delete the lot like that. Um, there are other ways of doing that, but that's the easiest way for me. So I'm doing it that way. Sorry, I just cut my mouse on something and it fell. Right, now there is another way to uh, do animations with this character and that is using Content Manager. Right, so if you want to go to Content Manager, use Animation. Right, now there's some action menus here or you can use Motion. And you can go to G3 Human, because that's what we've created, a G3 Human. And it's an elastic front human. You can use that and then you can click on the emotions there and it'll automatically create the emotion for you. If you click on it and make sure it's, it's selected, then it'll do the emotion for you. And like that. Okay. And there you go. And that's anger or angry. That's one emotion. So if you if you've got these the, all these different kinds of um, animations, you can use all sorts of different animations for doing this. It costs a bit of money to get all of these. So um, if you don't want to do that, you know you have to try and make your own. I've showed you how to do that anyway. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have, please like and subscribe to Townish Music and have a good day and stay safe thank you very much